Hello Couch Potatoes, welcome to today's video. The Emerald team picked up their fourth straight daily win. At deliberation, Devon started the conversation by revealing their decision isn't made up yet. Corey got upset because it was an obvious choice that the remaining rookie target was Logan. Josh swayed his allies into making Corey the agency vote and Corey came out of deliberation swinging, saying after he wins his elimination, he's going to infiltrate the Emerald team. Kyle had the same strategy, threatening that everyone is up for grabs if he's voted in, while Nelson and Logan promised to stay on the Ruby team. The agency votes and Corey is the compromised agent. After everyone leaves the deliberation chamber, Corey tells Nelson he's going to win, infiltrate Emerald and throw a challenge, then go against Josh or Devon in elimination for his revenge. Now that's an awesome plan. Sabotage them, Corey. It will be great for us to view. Devon tells Nelson he wanted to vote in Logan last time to avoid this exact situation because it's really Josh's fault that this happened to Corey. And then Corey points out the facts Josh came into the game with Facey and Corey his friends and now he screwed both of them over and then Corey reveals to the entire house that Josh broke his promise he made the night before and Josh reveals that the one guy he's protecting is Logan. This is just terrible gameplay for Josh. All sorts of terrible. He's not only making an enemy out of Corey, but he's also exposing his own shady deals. For someone who sets himself up well this season for the first time ever, he's really doing the most to sabotage his future. The elimination challenge is called Rob Burn, where players stand on top of a giant orb cages and play tug of war until someone falls or drop the rope, which is on fire. Best two out of three wins, easy enough. Yes, yes. Corey goes in and he immediately tries to rip the rope out of Logan's hands with a brute force. Logan gets the hang of the elimination and realizes he needs to strike in the off moments where Corey's grip loosens. I noticed that Logan smartly had a broader stance that made use of his legs whereas Corey was relying way too much on his arms. After a set amount of time, Corey guesses out and loses his footing and Logan does not take his foot off the pedal. It goes the same way for both rounds. It's a dominant 2-0 win for Logan. He outsmarted and outworked the veteran. And with that, Logan wins the elimination and sends Corey packing. But not before Corey gives a tearful interview where he gets choked up talking about how Nelson deserves to win and he wants to see his friend finally get the title of the challenge champion and he promises to come back with revenge on his mind. Um, don't wanna break it to you but I don't see Nelson winning the challenge but that's just me. And even though Logan's mantra has been Ruby until death, he says going back to Ruby now would be death. So he takes Kyle's spot on Sapphire instead, sending Kyle back to Ruby, which is a hilarious fate for the guy who did everything he could to get away from Ruby and You Amanda. Ruby, I don't want to come back to you, leave me alone. And now he's back with them both. Karma, karma, karma. Now... Sapphire has both champions and both rookies who have won elimination after elimination this season. Sapphire continues to look good on paper with CT, Emmy, Ashley and Logan, except they've come in last in the last three challenges, so I want to see some better results. Ruby is still, well, Ruby, and Emerald is still the biggest team that hasn't lost or been infiltrated. I'm hoping that changes next week. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Until next time, thank you for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe. You Ruby, I don't want to come back to you. Leave me alone. Hey, Couch Potato, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon.